This sentence is false. Here's our first example of a self-referential loop. If the statement is true, then it must be false, as it claims. But if it's false, then it must be true, leading to a contradiction where neither truth nor falsity can consistently apply. Adjacently, in quantum mechanics, we find the idea of superposition. Superposition states that a particle can exist in multiple states at once. Once it is measured or observed, however, the particle collapses into a single state. This sentence is false exists in a kind of logical superposition. Now we can turn to the title of our video, which came first, the chicken or the egg. <laughs> this question has a long history. Aristotle, writing in the fourth century BCE, over 2400 years ago, concluded that this was an infinite sequence with no true origin. Plutarch, writing four centuries later, specifically highlighted this question as bearing on a great and weighty problem, whether the world has a beginning. And with no less philosophical rigor, in Indonesia, during the summer of 2024, two men were at a party when they entered into a chicken or egg debate. One man became so emotionally enraged, he left and returned with a knife, stabbing the other 15 times and killing him. It's uncertain which side the killer took, chicken or the egg. <laughs> we see another similar idea in Joseph Heller's 1961 novel, Catch-22. Fighter pilot John Yosarian wants to be grounded from combat, but this will only happen if he is evaluated by the squadron's flight surgeon and found unfit to fly. The catch, however, is that requesting the evaluation proves he's sane, as only a sane person would want to avoid dangerous missions. These conditions make it impossible to be declared unfit. These also seem deeply related to the work of Kurt Gödel. Gödel's incompleteness theorems show that in any formal system, there will always be true statements that cannot be proven within the system highlighting inherent paradoxes and self-referential limits proven in mathematics often considered the deepest form of knowledge we have about the universe. In Shakespeare's Hamlet, we see a play within a play. The mousetrap play is performed within the play to mirror the events of the main narrative. Hamlet stages the play to catch the conscience of the king, creating a self-referential loop where fiction reflects reality. So far, we've gone over six examples of a very similar idea. There's one thing that all of these have in common, which is self-reference, which seems to be the cause of these apparent paradoxes. Evidently, systems have a difficult time talking about themselves. On this channel, I'm trying to communicate practical implementations of deep ideas. However, with this one, I'm kind of struggling where it can actually be applicable. When a system tries to examine itself, it seems to run into a kind of incompleteness, a point where it can no longer describe or resolve its own nature. Like Yosarian in Catch-22, we often find ourselves stuck in loops where solutions seem just out of reach. The systems we use to interpret the world, whether logic, science, or narrative, are powerful, but they may inherently contain paradoxes that elude resolution. Yet these paradoxes don't just limit us, they challenge us. They force us to expand our thinking, to confront the infinite loops and contradictions that arise when we try to understand ourselves in the world. Perhaps it is in this struggle in the tension of paradox that new ways of thinking can emerge. Maybe the question is more important than the answer in this scenario. If you enjoyed today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I will be starting a free school community soon for everyone and anyone interested in engaging in this type of like interesting discussions. And honestly, I'm kind of building this community for myself to find a like-minded, smart group of people that is looking to become a better version of themselves. Um, so if you're into that, stay tuned. See you all in a few days with a new video, and I hope you are well until then.